Hi everybody, in this video we're going to do something a little different. A viewer wanted me to show how to be able to customize a car like change tires and rims and stuff like that. So I do got two ways of changing them that I have seen in games. So you could either scroll through your tires or usually they'll have an image of the tire and then you could select what tire you want and also the rims they'll have images of rims and then you select the rim you want. So I'll show you both ways real quick. So I got this car uh, from the Unity Asset Store as well as the tires and rims. So the three assets that I'm using are from the Unity Asset Store. The, it's the Sedan Car 01 from Final Form Studio. I also have this 3D tire from Games or Life that I downloaded and rims. Now rims, I could have sworn it was free. I usually like using free assets for the tutorials that way you guys would be able to follow along or use them as well but for some reason it's $4.99 now and there's not really many options for rims on the unity s store but you could always create your own rims and stuff like that so let's just get started with the video now all i did in my canvas where you have your ui is i made a previous button a next button and that one just has you know the text inside of it there's this text which is pretty much this right here change rear tire rear right tire there's tire one image this one and tire two image and then there's the change right rim so it would be this little section right here previous button next button and then the text would just be this title text right here and that would be it that would be pretty much my whole setup now for custom car manager, this is just an empty game object. I'm gonna zero it out. And this is where I'm gonna sit our script. So I'm just gonna put customize car manager and then I'm gonna open it up in Visual Studios. I also wanted to mention that the tire screenshots, I actually opened up GIMP and did it myself real quick. I just grabbed the, the image right here or actually, not the image right here, but I went to, let's say the tires, to prefab, clicked on that, drug this up, you know, made it as close as I could, took a screenshot of it, went to GIMP or, you know, any picture editing tool and then just edited the gray like background out and that was pretty much it. So now if I go back and we'll just get started with this script. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is we are gonna delete the update and the start functions because we're not gonna need them. Uh, same thing with up here, the systems, the using systems and system the collections. And we're just gonna start typing our serialized fields. And the first one we're gonna do is gonna be a mesh filter. And the mesh filter is gonna be the right rim mesh and also the right tire mesh. So this is the ones that we wanna grab and be able to change during runtime. And then we're gonna also create a serialized field and it's gonna be a mesh array. I'll show you why we want an array later on. And this mesh array is gonna be our right rim meshes and we'll do also the right tire meshes. After that, we're going to also want a serialized field. The meshes we're actually going to put towards the end just so it's easier to read uh, in the inspector. And we're going to put mesh renderer, serialized field, and then mesh renderer. And this mesh renderer is going to be the right rim mesh renderer. So the reason that we're getting the mesh renderer for just the rim and not the tire is because the rims are using a different material and to be able to change that material you would have to get the mesh renderer from it but I'll show you guys right now in a bit what I mean by that so now we're also gonna do serialized field and this one's gonna be a material this is the material I, I was saying that we have to change when we change the rim so it's gonna be called the rim material and then we'll just continue so now if we go to public we're gonna add a function called public void change right rear tire and this is what we're going to use for the images. So these images, image buttons right here. This is how we'll be able to change them. So the first thing we're going to do is in this parentheses, we're going to add a mesh and it's going to, we're going to name it whatever we want. I'm going to just name it mesh to change. So this is the mesh we're going to use when we change. And then we're going to put right tire mesh dot mesh equals mesh to change and that's it so now we could test this out real quick we'll just go back and we'll go to our tire 
buttons, which should be tire one and tire two. So if we go to button, we're gonna drag in our script. So wherever our script is sitting on, which it's currently sitting on this custom car manager. Now we're gonna grab our buttons. Let's just go to one button at a time. We'll actually go both and we'll go to custom car manager because that's where it's, that's the script we wanna use. And it's gonna be change right rear tire so now we get to select the tires we want so this one would be the one that i have right now so that would be tire two image now for tire one image oh it's already set it would be small tire so if we go it would be this small tire mesh it wouldn't be under the prefab folder or anything it would be under the meshes and now if we hit play now when we let's go to this tire right here oh sorry about that we actually got to assign everything right here as well. So the first thing we're going to do is go to right rim mesh. So if we go to the actual mesh right here, so right rim mesh, and then there's right tire mesh. So, so these are the meshes on the car. So if I go, as you can see, that's the tire. And then this would be the rim. So we drag that in and then we're gonna go to right rim mesh renderer. So it'd pretty much be the same thing. It's a different component, but it's sitting on the same game object. So right rim mesh renderer. And then the material we're gonna use. Uh, for now, we don't need that because we're not gonna use the rims. And I'll just show you real quick. We're not even gonna use these arrays right now. So if I switch it, you can see the rims or the tires actually switch. So you could have a bunch of these and just add your different tires that you wanted. And this would apply with the rims as well. All you would have to do instead of using right tire mesh, you would use right rim mesh and you know, probably name your function differently and stuff like that. But now we're just gonna continue onto these previous and next buttons. So the first one we're gonna do is gonna be um, the next button. Button. it's gonna be public void next right rear rim so and we're not gonna have anything in the parentheses this time and we're just gonna put right rim mesh renderer dot material is gonna be equal to the rim material okay so then after that we would put current rim and then we're gonna add an it up here I forgot to add this it it's gonna be current rim mesh so we're gonna check what rim mesh we are at right now at you know at this certain time this is going to be zero by default so we're going to be on the first rim and you could also do this for uh, the tiger so and then down here we'll just put current rim mesh plus plus and then we'll put if current let's drop this bit if current rim mesh is less or is greater than or equal to rim or right rim meshes dot length so if it's greater than that we got to make current rim mesh equal to zero so we don't get an error and then we'll put rim, right rim mesh dot mesh is going to be equal to right rim meshes and then current rim mesh so after that if it's so if it's not greater than that if it's less than that we're just going to put right rim mesh dot mesh equals we're pretty much just going to copy this line of code so just copy it paste it and that should be pretty much it for the next button now for the previous button so we'll kind of copy this paste it and we'll put previous previous right rear rim we're going to do the same thing for the material and this is going to be minus minus actually we're going to put this minus minus over here now when there's this minus minus it or plus plus it's either just subtracting or adding the value by one and then over here we're going to check if this is actually equal to zero since the value is going down we want to make sure that if it is equal to zero that we're going to set the current rim mesh equal to right rim meshes dot length minus one and i'm getting an error because let me see there you go because i didn't spell it right so if it's equal to zero it's going to get the length of it and it's going to minus one so we don't get an error and it's going to make that current right rims value equal to that and then at the end we're just going to do right rim meshes or mesh dot mesh equals right rim meshes current rim mesh so then right here, we're just going to set it. We're going to get the mesh and we're going to set it depending on what rim mesh it is. So now we'll just save that and we'll go back. And if we go to our buttons, we'll just add it to our buttons. So we're doing the rims. So let's go down here. Previous button, we'll add that. We'll add that as well. And we'll drag in our script wherever it's located. We're going to put 
previous on that one and then go over here to our script and put next on this now we have to actually add our stuff right here so for the rim i'm going to go to the rims folder i'm going to go to materials and i'm going to drag this rim in so that's the material these are the textures and then we're going to go to right rim meshes so these are all the ones that we're going to want so we're going to go to actually models we're going to grab all these rims right here and I think it's these that we want because they're, they're flipped around. So it depends on which ones you need. I'm just going to drag those in, hit play. Now, if I change it, you can see the rims changing. If I go back, you can see it going back and you could just do that as many as times as you want. Now, if you did see that I did not include this rim, so let's include it real quick. So it should be this one, well, not that one should be this one and I'm gonna drag it to be the first one now if I hit play we are gonna see something that you guys might not want in your game so let's when I change it you can see it changes now let me go back to the first rim now you see the first rim looks completely different than this one it is because of the materials so for this to work we would have to actually change the material back to this material so if we go over here and we could just add an if statement so instead of having this just like that we could put if current rim mesh is equal to zero then do something else use that material we were just using so only if it's equal to zero use a different material else you know use that material we were using and we're just going to put this we're going to call it default material but you know you guys can name it whatever you guys want i'll just copy this paste it name it default material now I'm gonna copy all of this and go over here and paste that as well. Now we just gotta add our default material, which it should be this one. And we'll test it out right now. So now if we, okay, kind of messes up. Let me see what's going on. Okay, actually let's paste this towards the bottom. Same with this one. I think what's happening here is that it is changing it or it's checking this to see if this is zero before it even adds or subtracts the number. So that's why we're not getting it just right. So now if we hit play, now if I change it, everything works. If I go back, we get that rim material, but it is a different rim. Here's another rim, maybe it's that one. Let me pause it, add this one right here. Another different material. But yeah, you guys pretty much get the point. I mean, if you guys really wanted to check, just go to your rim, check the rim. And there you go that's the actual material that's why it's all glossy so now i could just go back add this hit play and everything should work accordingly but yeah that sh this should be the end of the video if you guys have any questions about this video or about anything at all just let me know in the comments below i hope this video was helpful i hope it was useful and if you guys learned something i would appreciate if you guys hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this video also hit that like button hit that subscribe button so you guys continue to see more videos like this i am making a gta like series it's taking me a while but it's just all these videos that are being asked and it's just going to take a little bit but they will come i am also going to be making some kind of motorcycle mobile game as well but yeah that's about it thank you guys once again